Ugh. You ever get that feeling when you feel like you're being watched? Because, uh, yeah. I really got that right now. Yep. Before I die, we should get this intro done. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to Alien Isolation. Now, currently, we're stalled on a ladder, and that is the weirdest way to start an Alien Isolation video to date. This is going to be part 11 anyway, guys. In the last episode, we just destroyed the hive, and the aliens, they want to talk to us about it. Thing is, though... I don't want to talk to them about whatever they want to talk to me about. So we've got a bit of a crossroads here. They're trying to hunt me down. I'm trying to avoid them. Let's keep moving on anyway. We're going to use this elevator, get to engineering. And I think from here on out, we are going to proceed and try and avoid the rest of the aliens that escaped. Okay, I had to backtrack, guys. I have not been this way before. This was my problem. You see, in the last episode, I just went down for a save point, and there was one right here. So after all that time, I could have just came up here. Okay, then. So with this in mind, I think all we got to do is call one of these guys, and then we should be able to get to... I think it was medical we needed to be headed to. So let's wait patiently, and uh, hopefully no aliens need to hitch a ride, too. You know? All right, then. So our little shuttle has arrived. Fortunately, the Xenomorphs, they're taking an alternate route. Probably a fast one as well. Ugh. We're going to be meeting them at the destination I'm going to, I'm sure about that. Inside we go. Yep, you can check your freaking junk. I already know. I'm gonna die. Throwing the switch. Achievement unlocked. So get to Sevastopol Skimed Tower or Ski Med Tower. Whichever way you want to say that. Thing I'm trying to prepare myself for, guys, is how sticky of a situation we might find ourselves in. Because in the last episode, we did a load. And I think this is the most we've probably peeved off the Xenomorphs since starting this game. We've brought them through, like, rigged explosions. But this time, we tried to destroy that hive and all of whatever was down there. So, where are we headed from here on out? Workspace solutions. Let me just see on here. Yeah. Looks like we gotta take another shortcut back. Why did it beep? Whenever it beeps. Oh, that's uh that's why it beeps. Because Bruh. um there's a vent there. Okay, we're gonna call the trans. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, the shotgun and the revolver are absolutely useless. Oh boy. We're gonna use this flamethrower right here. We're just gonna sit and crouch in this corner and think about everything that's going on right here. I feel so nervous right now, guys. That vent right there. <laughs> oh, that is really tripping me up. He's still moving. He's still oh, he's literally sitting above that vent, dude. Please don't jump down. He is there. He is right there. There's our lift. There's our lift. And he knows it. There's a good boy. Stay in the vent system, will you? Just whilst I take this ride, okay? Just for me. You can get the next one, okay, fella? Come on. Come on, doors just open. Screw safety protocol. Come on. Please just open. <laughs> oh, my God. It elongates this so long. Look at this. Oh, my God. Get in. Get in. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh, and that was one of many. There is going to be so many more Xenomorphs on our back real soon. Okay, keeping things moving on. Let me just see on the thing. I mean, it's not going to show any Xenomorphs, I guess, not until we're there. But once we get there, I'm not mad at trying to figure this out. Did you manage to get to comms? I'm here, but I was too late. Dang. Apollo's recovered from the reactor purge and locked out external comms again. Oh, boy. So why'd you send me here? Plan B, Rip. See, before I left, the system showed a ship approaching Sevastopol. Ooh. I think it's the Inusadora. Dang. Marlo managed to send out his auto codes to call it in while comms were temporarily open. That might be our way out, we right? Get to it. Is it docking? Come no, on. But it's in a holding position nearby. Okay. Head for the ambulance bay. The shuttles are really short range, but they'll make it. So wait, we're gonna blast off this place and get there, find a short range ambulance. Okay. Let me just save in between here. Wait, what, what was that? Well, that I, I don't like that. That was the strangest sound I've heard, though. That must have been one of the Xenomorphs. Although there's none on my map as of current. Still going to avoid the vent, so I don't trust this thing. <laughs> to be honest, I don't trust anything right now. Okay. And that means now we should expect company. Am I right? I think so. Oh, my gosh. You can see something moving. It's right in the vent. It's right in the vent. Ah! Okay. Okay, let's go. Uh, we got to get through that way. We can cut that actually with the iron torch. Okay, let's use this. It is noisy. Oh, I always hate the noise of this thing because it cuts out a lot of the movement in the vents. So the quicker we do this, the better. Come on and cut the panel. Let's just pull this lever and get through. Here we go. S. Yep. I'm feeling that. We are now being able to access then, I guess, some of the shortcuts throughout this place. And we are through. We're in the medical ward right now then, so where do we head from here on out? Is it just through there? I think so, to be honest. This will then transport us over to there directly, so let's get this part done to the primary care floor. Okay, let's see what this holds for us. What? The freak? Wait, was this where the explosion went off? To find an ambulance craft in the San Francisco medical emergency. Oh, dang. That sucks. Okay, let me just take some stuff from here. Okay, maxed out. Don't need it. Joking. Seriously, did, man. You don't say. Let me check. Uh, 
Ah, uh, everything just feels wrong about being in here. So this was after the explosion went off. Dang, we are not climbing back up there. Emergency room. Oh man, don't get the revolver, okay? Use the flamethrower. That's all we need right now. Something else is here too. I'm gonna cut through the analysis room, I think. Okay, looking through here. Wait, what? What's that there? What's that there? What up? What is that? What is that? Is that a human or not? I don't know what to think. I'm gonna go this way and just uh, avoid the situation entirely. Let's just go off our imagination and say it was nothing, okay? Just kidding us. Okay, this thing's faulty. Oh wait, we do gotta go down this way actually. Let me just search what you got, or what you had, should I say. Thanks for the flamethrower stuff, appreciate it. Now let's keep moving. Oh, not like a vent. And I wonder if we can take like a shortcut through here. Nope, appears to be a dead end. Let me just see if there's anything we can craft from the goodies in here. And no, nope, everything's maxed out. I think I'm gonna do some crafting so I have no med kits. Yeah, that is not a good thing to have. Or not to have, should I say. There's one, we've got quite a lot of SCJ injectors so we could make, I think, three or four even. Looks like three is our limit. We need another compound B then before we can do anything else. Now, let's continue on our way. I'm definitely gonna be abiding by the whole slow and steady wins the racing right now because, eh, I mean, I might get there first but the alien might hit me in the process and, you know, that double whammy, no thanks. Hey dude, I think there's an alien right here. You should move. Oh my god. Um, just, just moving on here. Oh no, I can't believe those things are here too. That sucks. I was hoping there'd be nothing. I'm not running. What are you talking about? Do I kill him or do I try and like, I could run him a loop right here. That would be fairly easy to do. He's pretty slow as well. So I think I might do that. I'm not running, dude. Like what, what are your eyes seeing right now? Yeah, I'm going to conserve my bolt gun ammo, I think. Okay. Yeah, sure. When you're walking at two miles an hour, good job with that. So we're going to go this way right here <laughs> through the analysis room. And already I think we've duked this guy. That was like the slowest duke I've ever done. But I mean, it's worked, right? I think we're still faster than him just walking. So no reason to run right now. Let's keep things moving at the pace they are. I think we're gonna walk- oh, we're heading this way? Wait, 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 what? Is there another one? Is there another one right there? I don't know what I just saw. I thought I heard another one. Okay, I mean, I would gladly have my mind play tricks on me and not believe it. Nothing in the vent. Let's keep going. And through we go. There we go. All right. Through the ambulance bay then. This is where we gotta head. Okay, and coast looks clear that way. And this way, I would say as clear as it should be at this point in time. I'm expecting at least another one of the working Joes to be present somewhere. We released them back over there, so they gotta be right. Is it this way we're going? I'm gonna go this way anyway. Ambulance bay, here we go. Okay, there's a, I think that's a way of transport just there in fact, so I think we're good. No, it wasn't, although we are at the destination we need to be at, so that's a positive sign right there. Now, where do we go? Perhaps operate this machinery here, looks like it's live. Nope, guess not. Damn. Okay. This tuner isn't powerful enough. We gotta find something then. Flashbang beast. There has to be a way. Hmm. There's gotta be a crawl space somewhere then. Somewhere narrow. Somewhere easy to see. Oh, wait, hold up. Find a level three upgrade for the access tuner. Now it makes us patrol and backtrack again. Why can it just be under here? You know, like a simple place. Just outside the door. I'm gonna check around this place just a bit more. Just in case we can find the access tuner somewhere local. Because that would be simple. In fact, I think this is it here. Hold up. It literally was! Thank goodness for that! <gasps> ah, that, that wasn't meant to happen, was it? Ah! 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 Ah, boy. That was disgusting. Hack the door and board the shuttle. What, with a freaking xenomorph right on my butt right now? Like, seriously. Why did he literally drop- oh. Okay. He's there. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Okay, keep low, just keep low. Move at a slow pace. Back in the vent. This is where we take our opportunity. Just go, just go. Don't even think. Here we go, here we go. First try. I do not want to mess this up and make noise. Wait, where's that little icon? Yeah. 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 Yeah, and then just that one. Ooh, that was a close one. I don't know if it makes like a high-pitched sound if we done goof. And we're through. Thank goodness for that. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. What about you? Oh, what? Bro, wait, What? Are we literally about to escape? Surely not. There's no way this is end game. Or is it? Oh, this feels insane. I don't know what I've just done. It's good, but wh wait, what? Hold up. I can't see nothing, which means we're about to head out into space. Am I right? This is a crazy sequence. Oh, yes. We're literally getting off of this freaking place, dude. Let's go. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh -huh. So now we are separate from the Xenomorphs. We should feel safe at this point in time. I wonder where this thing's taking us. I really want to see. Will it be taking us to the other ship, actually? <sighs> it would be a stupid twist of fate if the Xenomorphs have already taken that place over, you know? Ricardo, can you hear me? Oh, wait. 
Oh my god. Oh no. Ow. Okay. Are we in a new place? Or... Is it Xenomorph? Oh no. I, um... I gotta do this first. I am really, really concerned. Explore the... Wait, we're in a different ship now? So we must have separated before and then reconnected. Although, this layout looks really similar and we did know there was a Xenomorph in the vent. Oh boy, this isn't gonna be good. Bring the... What does that say? Anesidora systems back online. Oh dear me. This place looks like it's seen better days for sure. I am growing concerns over this. The whole place looks fairly damaged, to be honest, and the piping kind of looks like a xenomorph as well, you know? Like, am I just seeing things now? I am probably wanting to see that, like, just because it's in my brain. It's like when you look at clouds and you see shapes, it's because that's the way the human mind is tuned. Maybe a similar thing's happening here. I don't know, though. Let's just keep moving. It didn't kill us, so I'm happy at the end of the day. <laughs> what happened down here, huh? Is that what we're about to find out? I mean, I haven't seen anyone dead yet, so, I mean, that's good. I think we may have broken our losing streak. Oh, boy. We've barely been scraping a living the past couple of years, and the Anisador is starting to look like the wrecks we salvage. Hmm. Can't say the crew's been faring any better. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Then, we found that flight recorder. Oh, wow. It belongs to a ship, an Astromo. Wayland yutani property. Yup, yup, yup. That means there'll be a reward. But then, Marlow had an even better idea. Keep it going. Extrapolate the path of the flight recorder to try to find the wreck of the Nostromo. Dang. Serious. We got lucky found a distress signal and now we're following it. Wow. This is it. I can feel it in my bones. He always said he'd do right by me. Well, there you go. That's what happened to this place then, I guess. I guess we're going to investigate, though, and figure this out for ourselves. First room we can actually access. Is that... No, it's not one of those things. I was thinking that was one of the things to update the map, but no, it's just a simple little opening. Why is it giving us so much flamethrower stuff? Like, I was about to be happy, but then I realized, wait. There's a reason why. I mean, it wouldn't give you flamethrower stuff if a xenomorph wasn't present, you know? So, uh, I'm gonna go under that pretense. Okay, let's read one of these anyway. Signals detected. Marlo, Heist says he's just picked up some kind of signal. I've got Lewis trying to decode it now. Could be the Nostromo. Want to come up and see for yourself? Technician's report. Technician's report, 10th of the 24th. 2137. Milo, I just had to do some much needed work on the sublight engines. The old girl was complaining so loudly, I'm surprised something didn't fall off during the last jump. Everything's holding together for now, but she'll need a full overhaul soon, and not just for the core systems. We keep pushing her like this, and we're gonna end up being the only salvage crew hitchhiking through deep space. It's gonna be an expensive job, so let's hope you're right about that beacon. It could be our last chance for a decent paycheck. Anyway, I had to reset the door key code afterwards. The new one is 4510 Lewis. And we have a little play tape here for approaching Sevastopol. We're outside Sevastopol. Milo and Foster will go five, first. Seven, two. She looked terrible. Meeks and me are about to take a shuttle to the station. But well, this has got to break quarantine procedures, right? It's nice. Milo's ship. She's Milo's wife. And things got heated. And Meeks got a bloody nose. Well, that's not good. So, like a fight? I don't know. Maybe the doctors will give her the all clear and things will get to normal. Maybe. But if they sniff it out when we get on board, I don't want any part of it. Marlow doesn't pay nearly enough for that kind of noise. Dang. So there was some stuff going on just before they hit Sevastopol. I suppose that all we got to do then is restart these generators here. This should bring light to the place, thinking about it, you know. So here we go. Ah, my freaking favorite sounds. One more. There we go. So there's generator number one powered back up. There was two, however. Okay, expect loud noises and do not be put off by them like I usually am. I'm usually here thinking like, oh, I can't hear the rest of the stuff going on. Let's just get this out of the way. Then it's done. Then we can focus on the sounds after the generators have their initial power up. Okay. All looks like it's doing a good job then. Generator's powered up. Let's get back on ourselves. Let's move. Why does something really not feel right about this place now? I feel like... Whoa. Whoa, a crawl space. Aha. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's coming back out. <laughs> oh, my God. What is this guy, then? Is that a stretch or something? It's some kind of access panel. So use security access tuner. What on earth is this? Oh, okay. So we have to establish our connection. First try. Let's go. Access granted. And let me just see. What can we do from here on out? Ooh. Looks like we already did it. Loads of vibration. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let me just see on my little map where we headed. I don't know. My hand is freaking shaking like no tomorrow. Oh. I guess we could look at these things far and away. Aha! Straight through. Let's go. Let's go. That is dark. Okay. And that way. Well, I guess it's okay. Uh huh. Door should be open. Yep. Hopefully some light. Still no sign of Marlo. There's gonna be xenomorphs though, dude. We are gonna be seeing those before we see Milo, I think. Hey, Ripley. Welcome to the Anisadora. He's alive? 
Where are you, Marlo? Oh, wow. Don't you dare. Is he gonna, like... Wait, wait, wait. Is he gonna double-cross this dude? Okay. Objective. Find Marlo. It's the only thing we gotta do as well. Wait. What was that? I think I heard fumbling in the vents. I swear I'm hearing so much noise. I don't see any vents above, though, so I should be okay. Until I see one at least, then panic. Until that point, let's keep a cool face on and let's just get through this. Because we've got to find Marlo and that is our objective at hand. Power restored. We are moving back on through this jump. You know what? I think I might save before anything else. Because, uh, yeah, noises. What on earth is that deep bass sound? I can't tell if it's meant to be like in the world or like Maybe not. You, you know? Plenty of free spots. Me. Yeah, I think oh, you're right. Oh! Oh! Get away! Freaking thing! Doing? Is it dead? Oh, no Ooh. So the hug has got on this place. Oh, man. Do we really want to find him then? Sheesh. That sucks. Give me that scrap. Let's see if there's anything else around here. The more the merrier right now. What are you? What on earth is this? Oh, it's a radio. Oh, I couldn't see because it was on its side. Let's look at this terminal here then. Let's see what else has happened. Sevastopol. Whatever it was that attached itself to Forrester is dead. I found it on the floor by her bed, all curled up like a spider. That's one of the crawlers then. Forrester said she felt fine, but I insisted on putting her into hypersleep. That thing must have done something to her, but maybe I can show the process. Or slow even. Sevastopol's the nearest station, so I'm going to get her checked out. Quarantine will be a problem, but I figure the Nostromo flight recorder may be the ticket in. Whatever we have to do. Audio's got Anisadora fail, or hail even. Anisadora, hey. this is Marshal Waits of Sevastopol. Officially, I should deny your request to dock. Mm -hmm. Sebastopol is currently being decommissioned, and I can't compromise security for unscheduled vessels. However? However, in the light of the property you found, I will allow a small number of your crew to dock via a short-range shuttle. I must remind you that Sebastopol is entitled to a cut of any reward for return of said property once it's on station. <laughs> wow. Let me know your decision. Wait up. That freaking corner, though. You see that? Like, the moment, then. Is he saying the moment something goes in the property or just on the ship of Sevastopol, they instantly get a cut? If so, like, dude, what kind of rule says that? That is a crazy one. Oh, I thought that vent was open right there. We're good so far. Keep these lights illuminating as we walk. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Ooh. Ew. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. That does not feel good. Okay, turn back off. The less rumbly, the better. Uh-huh. Okay. You don't beat this thing, Ripley. You can't. Don't All you can thing. do is refuse to engage. Are you You're talking about the aliens? Every trace, destroy any clue, stop its infection from spreading. So. Make sure there's no chance of a human race ever making contact with it again. Yeah, he's talking because about those animals. It's one. The company's never gonna know what happened here. Nobody is. I won't allow it. What are you gonna do? You gonna freaking destroy the place or something? That seems to be the only thing. Like he already said, humans can't win. So. Oh. Oh, man. Is that vent cover close? Nope, that's an open one. That is an open vent right there. Okay, let's keep this moving. Let's get away from any open ventilation systems, okay? <sighs> it's good to see you. It is so good to see you. Let me put my thing in. So wait, wait, hold on. You know what I mean? What the heck is even that thing? Like a card reader? I should really have not said that. <laughs> looks like we're headed down now. Oh, nice freaking lighting, though. I mean, intentional or not, looks pretty damn good. Looks like we're starting some generators then. Wow. Dang, use the terminal? This thing here? So we haven't got to use that. So view the flight recorder data. Let me just get that sensor. Okay, maxed out. Let's uh, view the data then. I guess we don't really have much more to do. I'm so quiet. I guess we're so focused on this, right? We gotta be. What are we gonna uncover? Here we go. Oh, wow. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Added report. Personal message. This is for my daughter. Amanda Ripley, isn't it? Hi, Amanda. I'm recording this for you, my sweetheart. And I hope you get to hear it one day. Here we are listening right now. You see, I, um, I got into trouble. Um, my ship, mm -hmm. there was an accident, sweetheart, and, um, wow. we found an alien creature. It was very dangerous. And the only way we could stop it was to destroy, destroy the, the ship. ship. Wow. Uh, I'm okay. I'm stuck on this lifeboat, long way out. But we had to destroy the ship. 
We had to destroy the Nostromo. We just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us. I needed to protect you. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. Still haven't seen her though. I love you, sweetheart. Oh, that's gonna hurt Amanda so much. That's the message right there. That was what was on the flight recorder. Message end. So our name has been plastered upon that. And if someone else has heard that and they know who we are, you know. Oh my God. What was that? That's pretty bad. So they also found the xenomorphs. I wonder if this thing then is traveling just across the place. Gotta be, right? Keep it together, Ripley. Oh, what? No way, dude. It was that guy. <gasps> No way. Is he seriously going to pull the trigger? He's getting her on her knees. What is he doing? What is that guy doing? Oh, man. He's going to blow the place up, man. Oh, we got to get the heck off this. Oh, my gosh. Like, come on. This girl got to move. He's got that last point right, but we got to get off this. There's got to be a way to rig it so we can, like... Escape before anything Listen happens? Listen to me! We don't have to do this! Stop! Stop it, Marlo! Marlo, please. You heard what your mother did. She understood. We can't she do anything. Be me. Oh, my you gosh. She would company suits not the zip code of that creature? No one must know. There's nothing we can do either. This whole situation. We've just got to watch it unfold. <laughs> Bro, he's going to kill her. He's literally going to kill her. Monsters, not. She was my wife. I loved her. And I killed her. Oh, my. Whoa! Dang! Hit him again! Just be safe, like. I think that was too late. He yeah. Set it going. Yeah, he has. He set it going. You can see that all Taylor, overheating. I'll stop the overload. You have to help me. Go to that console. Okay, I'm ready. This is about to get insane. Fusion reactor overload in progress. This is about to go crazy, Open guys. The fusion system so I can work From on here? It. I need power sent to yep. the auxiliary generator. Look for the letters A U X. Let's see what happens, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Here. We got power. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spam that E button. There we go. That's charged up. Press the button. Now we're going to use this hacking device, surely. Okay. You're doing good, Jim. Whoa. Now switch the How is she standing there through manual. that? Do you see it? Oh, my gosh. Come on. It'll please try. Trust me. Come on. We're so close. We've only got it. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. We can't mess this up, guys. We've got to do this. We've got to do this. As quick as we can and as precise as we can. Okay, then we need... Where is it? This one here. One more. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. No, I did it wrong. Oh, no, I can't afford to do that, guys. That was stupid. I can't see the flicky tail thing. I can't. I can't see it. We've got to be so precise here, guys. This is it. The last shot before this thing blows up. And I... we got it. We got it. Yes. Or was I too late? Was I too late? Oh, man, I think I did it. No, I don't. I gotta be quicker. Let's do this one more time and let's not mess up as we did last time, okay? This one, yeah, we got this one easily. Easy stuff, first try. Code accepted. Drop it. What are we doing next? Is it this thing? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right and left, press the D key, and we got it. Come on. Please tell me that was enough. I felt like I did that in real good time. You gotta watch this guy now, honestly. That was close. Real close. Yeah, we did it, but watch the guy down there. Wait. Okay. Um. Oh, shoot. It was too late anyway. Yep. Holy crud. There's nothing we can do. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I can help her. There's nothing I can do. Like, what do I do? Oh my god, she's gonna freaking die. Escape, we just gotta go. Go! Just freaking- Whoa! Oh my gosh, this is epic. Looks like as we run, the waves that will blast themselves out, we just do not go down. Do not enclose ourselves in any space. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Come on. Just gotta go. We just gotta go. I think there's no xenomorphs. We're in enough danger as is. Those guys would only add more. Whoa, this way. Woo! place is collapsing. Come on, Ripley. We're making some good ground. Let's go. Come on. Keep it moving. The ship is already freaking... Oh, my gosh. This is nuts. This is nuts. Okay, we're back up. But goodness, barely. Come on. Ignore the mini explosions. Once we're off this place, we will be fine. Once we're off, though. Come on. 
Just a straight run here. Ignore it. Ignore it. Yep. Yep. Imagine being in this situation, though, guys. Seriously, imagine this. I would not know what to do. I would have probably seized up and freaking terror by this point. It's a straight run. It's a straight freaking run. Dodge that right. Dodge that right. Get back in this seat. Let's go. We made it. We made it in the time we needed to. I'm hoping that was enough. I think it was. Just everything is going to hell right now. Here we go. Okay. Ricardo. Did we make Ricardo. it? Yes, we made it back. Oh man. Holy crud, no way. No way. Find a way to contact the torrents. Oh wait, no, the torrents. No, we haven't seen that yet. Really? What did it say? Hello, Sebastian. Can you respond? We just saw a ship blow on your starboard side, uh -huh. took out an entire orbital stabilizer array. We have no place to dock. Please, tell us what's going on in there. We, we can take survivors. Okay. I'll leave this channel open. Torrens out. So it seems like Torrens is our way out right now. Our only way out, I might add. So the ship is now starting to really fall. It seems like almost everything is starting to shape in the wrong way. We didn't intend for things to go quite this bad. That place is gone. I think, I, I mean, it's like, safe to guarantee, like, we've pretty much lost that other crew member by this point. Welcome to Six and Listen to that, like, they have no idea. I mean, it is automated. Did I just see something walk right there? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I think we're the same down here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Can they? Oh no, they definitely saw me. Oh my god, dude, he's gonna blow my freaking head off. Like, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I gotta run. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me, he's gonna hit me. Oh my god! I don't know how I didn't get shot right there. Goodness, yep, there I did. I'm expect- yeah, look. My gosh, there are so many right here. Dude, I'm dead. I'm freaking dead, unless- like, I gotta take a shot right here. I could get away, maybe? Just keep running. Just keep running. This is so bad! This is so bad! There's a save point. All right, let's hit it, let's hit it, let's go, let's go. Hopefully- in the time if we die, when we respawn, there won't be any coming after us, right? I need to hit that so bad. Okay, at least we got some life back in us then. So I do have a shotgun. That will be a plan B. Ideally, I don't want to fire any more bullets though. I want to try and avoid these guys, okay. There's a guy at the desk right there. Will he report me if he sees me? Like, I'm not sure. Let me just try and see what he says. Hey, what's good, man? Oh, it's him, it's Ricardo. Marlo's permissions are still locked in this terminal. If we had the coordinates for the torrents, we could align and transmit the dishes manually. Right. Bypass Apollo completely. Nice. There's an observatory near the comms array, right? Yeah. You should be able to find the torrent coordinates using that. Okay. Thanks, man. This one here? Come on. Yes. Thank you so much, Ricardo. Let's get going. So we're on track now to find the Sevastopol security. Oh, we are literally hearing the collapse of this place as time goes on, too. This was our first encounter with the guys. Am I right? Like, we go through the elevator. There is an absolute shed ton of the working Joes. I'm hoping they're still not there or they've burned up like those guys. Although saying that, I probably think security's got there first. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Here we go. We got another safe point. I'm gonna do it because now there's no hostels nearby as well. We better scope this place out before we do anything though. My gosh, I've just realized ahead. You can probably see that. So yep, I suspected that there's definitely security around right here. I can't get past the lockdown. So they can't get past the lockdown. Okay. Oh, I don't need those. Okay. Right. Okay. How am I going to get around here? Okay, we're going to hit this event right here. It seems to be a good way to, uh, I guess, travel from A to B. Or is it just like a narrow way? At least i got time to try and think of a plan as we're doing this. There is a cut through here. Thank goodness for that. I had no idea how else I would have been able to have gone past those guys. So we head down this way. Oh, is it just a dead end? These do- Oh my gosh. Um, How are we going to do this? How the freak are we going to get past these? Hold up, hold up. We don't actually have to go that way. We can go this way and we can be perfectly fine here. Just got to stay very weary of any of the people that might potentially see us. Watch that back. We should be okay this way. No one behind. The only problem would be if they come from the front, which they are not. Moving nice and slowly here. Nice, didn't get caught. <sighs> Everything just feels so triumphant right now. The observatory chamber. This is exactly where we got to be headed. Use the iron torch. Let's just hope the noise that gives off from this thing isn't sufficient to let those guys freaking hear and know that we're here. Although, that is pretty noisy, right? Yep, that's up. Just pull the freaking lever. Come on, let's go. Yep, looks good to me. And here we go. So we got past those guys, thankfully, no issues there. Oh, here we go. Oh, dang. 
He take his own life or did someone take it for him? Here's the observatory chamber though. I guess we gotta climb up here. Let me just check around just to make sure I don't miss nothing. Nope, looks like we're heading up and out. Use the tracking system to find the torrents. Let me just see. Wow. Just wow. That's insane. Absolutely insane, okay? Let's use this guy here. What on earth is this? I've never seen this before. So match the input with the move keys and press enter to confirm. So wait, we go that one, that one, that one, and that one. Uh, what on earth am I doing? Hold up. Ah, I see. So we have to hit enter each time. Just like so. There we go. Good stuff. That has been done then. So wait, what next? Oh, this thing's now active. What is this? The commence deep space scan? Use the move keys to control the docking alignment. Oh my gosh. We've got to align it with this, I guess. So what we're going to do. So we then enter to engage like that. I think we've got to align the outer rings with it. So we wait patient. Okay. Stabilize it. Stabilize. And I think right there. That was perfect, surely. That looked good to me. Yep. Oh, we can literally see this happening as well. That is crazy. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting, dude. Oh wait, are we moving? I think we may be, you know. I think we're moving up. Dang, this is cool. Wow. Look at this all. I could just stand here for ages and marvel at that. So now that we're done here, commence deep space scan again. Watch for any small little bumps and movements. Nice and aligned right there. That looks good. There. Perfect. Should be the one. We go. Ricardo, I found them. Okay. We have to do it in here. Check. Maybe with this thing. We gotta go outside. Manually input the torrent's coordinates. Wait, outside of the ship? Oh, my dude. My dude. If so. If so. Is this gonna open now then? Yep. Yep, that opened. Oh, wow. This is crazy exciting. Here we go. We gotta get out of this place. Oh, man. I'm excited to see what happens next. Hey, that must have been me, I hope. I think so. Here we go. Get rid of that flamethrower. Shotgun is definitely going to be our friend against other humans. They should still be out here, though, the guys, right? I can unlock the entrance to the airlock from here. Give me a sec. Got it, got it. We're going to wait. We're going to sit tight and wait. So just in here. Thank you so much, man. So it's just that. Good stuff. Keeping it low the whole time. But those guys have got to be thinking, what the heck is going on, you know? As they're patrolling, everything is moving. Not this time, though. Just us getting out of this one. Yes! This game is so good. This ending, I'm so excited to experience. By this point, like, I can feel everything that we're doing is just adding up to a massive, colossal picture. That's what makes me so anxious to just see what we'll uncover by the end of it. We're going outside as expected. Oh my god, let's go. Let's go. So let me just check this place out then. So the external array. We got this way and boink, a brick wall. Actually, it's probably not brick, is it? It's probably some other weird material. Thought so. I mean, it's not just going to let a human go out and like, because that's literally what will happen. <laughs> this does feel like a real good spot, though, to leave off in this episode. Great success rate, loads of stuff going on, and this was another good one furthering the story of Alien Isolation. Next one is set out to start with a very, very exciting beginning, and I honestly think it's just going to get more and more crazy as time goes on. So there we go, guys. That was the end of part 11, and I really hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you guys did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video guys i of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one